Hey guys, Boris Lasso with BK Forest. Welcome to the first crosses section of the new year for January 8th to January 12th, 2018. Um, and there are a couple of very interesting ideas I think that are popping up on the screens. Uh, some of them are starting to show multi-month breakouts. Some of them are just sort of interesting, I think on an intra story basis. So let me get to them and I'll show you what I think are the most interesting setups as the week shapes up. First and foremost, Euro Yen, of course, really showing a lot of strength. Now, this is a story essentially of the fact that the Euro shows a lot of relative strength and refuses to come down, and the fact that Yen is kind of holding steady. If the um, dollar Yen story gets a bid, I think it really lifts the Euro Yen with it because I don't see Euro coming down significantly. The idea here basically is that the market finally becomes convinced that the Fed is going to uh, – perhaps get a little bit more hawkish as the as the year goes by and interest rates start to really go through that two and a half year and 10 year basis. And what's going to happen is not that the euro is going to get sold off, but I think you're going to see the European interest rates also begin to accelerate a little bit as everybody starts to uh, reprice the idea of global, global central bank tightening. Under that condition, uh, euro yen gets lifted. And that's why I think is, is, is one of the more interesting uh, trades uh, coming up into the week because we're now already crossed the very, very key 136 resistance and looking very much towards the 137, 140 level to the upside. So um, to me, that's a very interesting trade, although you do have to give yourself massive amount of downside uh, support because the true support comes in at 132. I'll show you on the charts. And you got to give yourself a lot of breathing room if you want to see if th this trade uh, work out. It's basically a bet on global synchronized central bank tightening in the G3 universe. If you, if, if you agree with that thesis, that seems to be a, a pretty decent trade into the new year. Um, the other trade that I think is really setting up quite nicely is the odd CAD actually to the short side. Now, I've talked about the idea that CAD seems to have tremendous amount of momentum, that it looks like the Bank of Canada is going to hike rates in January. The market's starting to make more and more of those bets. So CAD should definitely outperform on a uh, calm dollar basis. Resistance comes in here at 99, support at 96.50, um, and there's certainly quite a lot of uh, scope here for the downside move for CAD. In addition to which, we get a little bit of Australian data this week. Kathy is negative the, uh, uh, the odd retail sales, and that's the case. Then uh, we certainly should get a push um, in that particular trade to the downside. And lastly, um, the other carry trade that also seems to be quite good, sort of a, I think a secondary trade, is the odd yen to the upside. Now, odd is still very much one of the higher yielders in the industrialized world. Um, if dollar yen catches a bid, I don't see the uh, the odd starting to come down under a lot of pressure. Um, and that could be another interesting sort of a secondary trade to the upside. Let's take a look at the charts here. And we can go three to uh, from backwards to frontwards. So here's odd yen. Um, the other way to look at this, by the way, is if you don't believe that the odd yen is, is, is a trade to the upside. In other words, uh, an interesting way to kind of hedge the view here is to say, no, I think one of these things is going to fail. So you short odd yen and go long euro yen. That's, a, that's a synthetically a, a euro odd long, but it's an, it's an interesting way of kind of perhaps legging into this idea on both sides of the equation. So you can see here, we have a big resist point at the um, 80, essentially right here at around the 89, 90 level. Um, basically 90, 50 is the very much the high. It's a triple top formation. So if it is going to fail, it's certainly going to fail pretty much within 100 points of here. That's why it's probably a better short candidate than a long candidate um, to this particular trade. Um, looking, and let me just take a look at the euro yen as, as sort of the, the pair to this on the long side. And you can see the euro yen conversely has cleared, cleared its uh, massive resist point now. It's now trading pretty much, let me just go back, this is all weekly charts, so I'm really taking you um, on, a, on a very long journey here. Let me just delete this. Um, and you can see that you know the weekly charts show that we're now peeking into this whole 36, 140 corridor. There's a filled gap. Where's the gap here? This is this is the gap between 37 and 33, which got filled over here, came back, may may get refilled over here uh, a little bit later. So this is really 215 that we have to go back to. We haven't been at these levels since 215. It's very powerful. I think it's signaling, you know. Remember, rule of thumb in technical analysis is if it's at multi-year highs or multi-month highs, it's an important event. Pay attention. Play the flow. Don't try to be smart. Don't try to, try to outsmart the market. So to me, um, if you're going to bet, bet long on Euro Yen here to the trade towards the 140. As I said, however, you got to let me just zoom back out. you got to give yourself a lot of room because if you look at the weeklies, 
really support comes under 132. So there could be a you know considerable amount of retrace here without necessarily breaking the whole long thesis foundation uh, on a technical basis. So you got to give yourself a lot of room, perhaps small, smaller size trade. But generally, this is one of the strongest long trades into the next week or so, uh, with Aussie yen being the, the short um, hedge, perhaps, against this particular trade. And then last but not least, the intra calm dollar trade, which I like. Odd cap, um, lower highs. Uh, cat is definitely showing a lot of strength. And if we can kind of typical typical in the calm dollar world, where we you know have a big breakout and a fill fill of that breakout, which does it all the time. You notice over here, up down, up down. These are weekly candles. Um, calm dollars love to do this. They love to just simply take you up and then take you down, take you down, take you up. Um, so uh, possibly we have a chance here to take us to take us down and taking us down to the lotus candle takes us all the way down to 96.50. So there's scope for about 100 points of trade here, certainly uh, for the odd cad uh, to the downside. So those are the best ideas on the cross side that I see this week. I wish you guys the best of luck, the best of trading. Boris Schlossberg, over and out.